Pampas grass is starting to drive me insane. I've literally just moved it and it's everywhere. I think I'm gonna have to throw it in the bin. I can't deal with it anymore. It's too much. I've still got a nice floral arrangement with some other dried flowers. I don't mind the dried flowers. I love the look of the pampas, but the <laughs> the fallout from it is just far too much. So I think I think it's time for it to go. We're gonna say goodbye to the pampas. Say goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You have been the one. You have been one for me. It's so pretty. If only it didn't shed like a cat. Honestly, right, say goodbye. Everywhere, stop. Oh no. That pampas is everywhere it could possibly be. I think I'm gonna leave the room for five minutes and then it's even all over this pampas grass, which, can you see that? Oh no, this is not good. I'm gonna leave the droplets to set for like five, 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna come in with the hoover and hoover it all up. I feel like I'm gonna do this quite a lot. Look, it's just everywhere. Can you even see that? It's literally flying everywhere. I love this bowl. Uh, it looks so horrible. Oh, I can't wait to get, give this room a good scrub. Very excited. Good morning, my sweet angel cherubs. How are we all doing? Nearly 12 o'clock, me and Rob are gonna go out. Why did I say his name like that, Rob? Me and Rob are about to go for a little walk across to our Subway. You know I love my Subway salads and it's a Thursday, so why not treat yourself? Um, but we're gonna go across and get a Subway and do a little walk. Then when I come back, I'm so excited, guys. We're gonna go to Ikea. We're gonna go to Ikea, I'm very excited about this. We're not going for anything crazy. I'm actually just gonna go straight to the area I know that I need to go grab the bits and come back. What I need to get is this wardrobe situation sorted out. And I know I have been ranting on about, about this and I haven't actually got anything done yet, but I'm getting it done. My God, it's hot. It's absolutely sweating. It's really, really hot. This middle section here, I want to fill that with another PAX unit. And um, basically I need to cut it all down. And then I've also found through measuring, I'm so happy because basically I wanted to cover I wanted to cover all of it with mirror, but the bit in the middle, I didn't think I'd be able to get a, a like bespoke bit of mirror made. However, the bit in the middle is only gonna be 25 centimeters wide. There is a 25 centimeter wide exact mirror that I need from Ikea. Can we just, God works in mysterious ways. So basically I'm gonna have to cut the middle, I'm gonna have to cut the middle section, the unit in the middle down to size, but then I've got a nice bit of mirror that will actually fit over the top of it, hopefully. And then all of it is gonna be covered in, in mirror. The one thing that I'm debating whether to do or not, should I lift the wardrobes up off the floor and then like build it all in, like use MDF to flush it all off, or shall I just put the bit in the middle and then just have it all mirrored and then leave the top just in case we want stuff on the top. I don't know what to do because when we moved in, we didn't want built-in wardrobes because of the pure fact that this room isn't very big. So if I then go and make built-in wardrobes by kind of flushing all of the edges with MDF, it's gonna look small. Anyway, I'm gonna go for a walk in the sun. It's absolutely glorious. I hope that you do the same thing depending on what time you're watching. But if you haven't been out for a walk this week, go out and do your walk, do your 10K steps. Oh. So. Subway cookie. I wasn't going to do it, but it was staring at me. Oh, I got the rainbow one. Oh, I haven't had a cookie in so long. This has to be one of my favourite lunches, hands down. Like, favourite lunches. I would always go for a Subway salad. They're just so good. They're not the healthiest. It depends on what you get on. So, like, if you end up getting all the sauces like I do, they're not the healthiest they're not too bad but you could make them healthier 
but they're just so tasty. I think I've shared this before, but in case you're wondering, I get all the salad, literally all of it. And then I get the roast chicken and then I get Southwest sauce and garlic alioli. The garlic alioli is, ve ve ugh, the garlic alioli, the garlic alioli is vegan, in case you're wondering. Mm. And I get extra sweet corn. Mm -mm. I love sweet corn. The only thing with Subway is, sometimes you get quite stingy people. So I'm always just saying, oh, can I have a bit more, can I have a bit more? And then they're like, really? And I'm like, mate, fill the box. I'm paying five pounds for a salad, so fill the box. <laughs> but I thought I'd show, I got some of these in a little charity shop, all of them for a pound. Oh, actually now looking at it, I don't think they were meant to be just one pound. I think they were meant to be three. But I got all of these for a pound and I don't know what I want to do with them, but they look like they're either bamboo or some sort of really good um, wood anyway. And I don't know if I want to keep them as little dishes for when we're out in the garden and you can serve, I don't know, like stuff on them or if I want to do a DIY with them. I feel like when I was in the shop, I was kind of like hanging them over and I felt like it would be cool if I could perhaps hang them over each other like that and then put like a light bulb down the middle or something and make like a cool pendant I don't know I don't know I'll see see what takes my fancy but I've just I thought they were an absolute steal to be honest guys it is hot today it's only 14 degrees but it is hot I'm feeling just a little bit you know a little bit toasty a little bit roasty I have arrived at my favorite place, Ikea. I'm gonna make a beeline for the wardrobe section to just double check everything that I think is gonna be there and like how it's gonna work. And then I'm gonna go down to the like kind of, you know, the like warehouse bit where you actually get all the flat pack stuff. Get it all in my trolley and then get it in the car. And I'm not gonna look at anything else. I'm just gonna just like walk around like this. Like, the car park isn't too full and I'm hoping there isn't a mad queue as well. But anyway, let's go. I'm so pissed so I'm currently here and they literally don't have the wardrobe that I need all I've managed to get are the glass doors for the main wardrobes so I think I'm gonna have to come back another day what a waste of a journey Whew, guys the heat is not a joke I don't know if you can see I don't you probably can't see heat can you <laughs> but I am sweating oh my gosh I've just done like Olympic acrobats trying to get these four mirrors into the why is my camera wobbling these mirrored doors into the car and you know what i was a little bit annoyed i'm gonna have to put my oh, i can't because you're not gonna be able to hear me i need to put my ac please hot you're probably not gonna be able to hear me now okay i needed that air con on for a second it is hot it is not even hot but like considering it was freezing cold and snowing last week now that it's 17 degrees oh my gosh it's 17 degrees no wonder I'm sweating. It's absolutely boiling. What a day. I bloody love it. What a day. What a beautiful day. Anywho, um, yeah, I was having a bit of a meltdown inside IKEA because basically the small unit that I want to go in the middle, they're out of the door and they're out of the actual unit that I need to cut down as well. And then I went on the website. I should have done this beforehand, but you know, we just like to play on the edge sometimes. But I went on the website and on there I saw that it's out of stock in Gateshead. So that's fine. And then at the top it said, we're taking taking more orders for um basically they're overworked with how many packs wardrobes they can get out so they are expecting them in, in a couple of weeks so I put on the notification email so I'll get an email when it comes into stock and hopefully they come into stock at the same time then I can rush down and go and grab one so that just means that we're not gonna be able to do the wardrobe um thing for a little while but it does mean that I can get these doors on the wardrobes Oh, 
why are they so heavy and why is my heart racing let's look at my heart rate right now heart rate 107 that's a lie there is no need for me to be this unfit me and rob had to move the um wardrobes to the side so remember when i told you that the bit that i'm going to be cutting down is going to be 25 centimeters basically needed to move the wardrobe to the right to allow for that gap this gap here so now this gap is 25 centimeters so fingers crossed when it comes to me getting the wardrobe and everything it should be able to slot right in in a couple of weeks because they were out of stack at the mall. so the most we can do right now is open these doors open these um cardboard boxes rather get the doors out and put the doors on but i think that's going to make a really big difference so let's see grab yourself it doesn't have to be this one just grab yourself some sort of um power screwdriver because it just makes life so quick so now i'm going to be able to just quickly zoop zoop those into place oh my god did it come with the handles i think i've bought extra oh yes that means we can save 10 pounds it comes with the little handles already buzzing one two three four imagine doing this by hand guys perfection is my name look at this look at this little bad boy bad boy bit of information and it's even got a little light look oh i love it mm, so that's door one. Interesting. Ooh, ooh, guys, it looks good. <laughs> it looks good. It looks good, but I'm a bit worried that I can't get my. Surely I'll be able to get my drawers in. Yeah, they literally make the drawers like that so you can get them in. Stop panicking, Shardai. Stop panicking. Oh, come on, babes. Don't do me like that. Come on, babes, don't do me like that. That one is being a little shit, not gonna lie. Uh, have I done this the wrong height? What's going on with that one? They're at different heights. What have I done? No, 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 this is not, this is not what I wanted to happen. Balance them. Right. Oh. Oh, I'm confused. So which ones do you have to put there and which ones do you put there? I think I've got to swap them over. <laughs> right guys, we've figured it out. So my lovely followers, I put on a post and you guys told me that you have to have the wired drawers at the bottom. You can't have a normal drawer which I think is so weird and really annoying, actually. All my doors are on. I think I just told you that basically you have to have the mesh basket to go on the base if you have the hinge doors. So just note that if you are getting the hinge doors rather than the sliding doors, you can't have a drawer on the bottom. You have to have a basket or a flat um, like tray thing. Um, so anyway, we currently look like this, which I'm actually loving and is totally what I envisioned. I cannot wait to get that gap in the middle filled with one as well. The only issue we're facing now is that the doors are a little bit uneven, particularly on this side. Um, I'm gonna go and get my spirit level to see if that's a problem with the wardrobes, as in the frames or the draw or the doors themselves. It makes sense that the doors, the, the frames should be straight, but you never know. Like we've had clothes in there for quite a long time and especially my side like I've probably bowed it out of shape and stuff this has totally up opened up the space I'm obsessed with it I'm gonna go stand at the back and show you properly look oh my god it looks so good it's gonna look way better when we get the one in the middle to be honest so I'm definitely definitely gonna do that I had wondered if we if we do it but I think we will because as well it's gonna offer us so much shoe storage which is why can't I speak it's gonna offer us so much shoe storage which is the main reason as well well one of the main reasons because we just kind of need some storage I I can see that those doors aren't they're leaning a lot it's definitely because it's leaning to the left that makes sense how they're bent out of place as well so i'd need to get something to stick down the side of it i'm going to go to the garage and see if i can find a small chunk of wood or something to slide down that side but anywho looking good looking good there's a lot of stuff that i hadn't thought about i thought it was going to be an easy job 
I really did. I've just spent 200 quid on these and it's just causing me problems to be honest. I didn't expect to pay that much to have a headache, but here we are. So I need to stop that one tilt into the side. I need to wait three weeks to get that bit in the middle, which is gonna cost me another 100 quid. I'm gonna, I don't know what to do. It's currently nearly eight o'clock. I don't know whether to just head down to Ikea. It's gonna take me about 15 minutes at this time of night, like no traffic. As long as they're open till 10, as they usually are, as long as it's not like COVID times. I should be, I could be back within an hour and a half. So hour and a half, hour, hour and 15. So we could potentially have it all sorted for tonight. And then that means like I don't have to worry about it. Whereas if I wake up tomorrow and don't go tonight, that means I wake up tomorrow and it's still a problem that I have to deal with, which I don't really want. I don't really want that for me, no. So we're gonna go to Ikea. I've decided, I have decided we're going to Ikea. Let me put some stuff back where they should go tidy up a bit. We're gonna head to Ikea. Morning guys, morning, how are we? So it's currently seven o'clock in the morning um, and the gardener is here. I've literally just woken up, but why am I whispering? <coughs> morning! <laughs> the gardener is here and I really wanted to go and like get this on camera, so I'm up early ready to catch it. I don't know if he's going to be into vlogging with us, but I'm going to set the camera up to see what he's doing. I think today is mainly a dig-in day. Um, he's here early, I think, purely because later on it's going to be really miserable weather again. Like, I don't understand this England, honestly. Like, all weekend it's been, all last week it's been beautiful and the full next seven days is just rain, like 70% chance of rain every day. I've, I've just heard them say double check, so I'm going to go downstairs and see if they need me. Should I? Yeah. You're yeah. Morning. Morning, how are you? Sorry, I've just woken up, I can't even see. Um, by the way, my job is YouTube, so I'm gonna capture some of this on YouTube, if that's okay with you. Fine, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Just, so the curve's just gonna come run here, isn't it? Yeah. And then into the, where the two, and then, just and then straight, straight up. up. And then it's gonna be level across there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is what the garden currently looks like. We've got um, some slabs that come up here. So three up this side, and there's a little walkway. And then we've got some spare slabs from my lovely neighbours. And then we've got two slabs that extend from here. So the grass goes all across here. It's a very weird design, very annoying, because it means we can't put any furniture down really, apart from this space. But then we've got our double doors. So anyway, it doesn't make sense. So what we're gonna do, the gardener has just come and kind of said what he, the plan is, we've gone over it. So we're gonna be filling this whole um, space of grass here and we're actually going two slabs out from this side one two which is going to be five slabs out and then from this side we're going to go three slabs out so it all matches up so it'll be five slabs out so basically the patio is going to be extended to about here all the way across we're also bringing it out um two slabs worth and he's going to try and cut like a not a curve but like a, a more slanted edge on this side so i don't know if you can see my wall it's a little bit more curved um so instead of it being like a dead sharp edge up there just to make it look a bit nicer and let the grass follow around nicely he's going to do a bit of a like curve slant sort of edge so it's going to go like this and then all the way up there and then it's going to go straight all the way up to there so we're going to have a really good space for um putting our furniture on an egg chair and uh barbecues and stuff we bought a barbecue essay from asda for 300 quid and it looks unreal i can't wait to show you it um, i'm gonna stand on this side so you can actually see more but the grass is wet <clears throat> oh my little trousers oh my god my flowers opening up <gasps> my rhododendrons opening can't believe it right so it's from this side here so you see how this comes out here, here. It's just silly, isn't it? Like, what can we do with that space? Why would they ever do that? They should just make the whole thing across. Everyone needs patio pretty much, but anyway. So we're filling that whole space. We're bringing it out a little bit more and it's coming round further there. So it's just gonna give us an easier space, like walkway to get to the side um, where we've got all of the pergola stuff. And then we're gonna have like barbecue, fire, pit chimney. Uh, I'm gonna try source some dining room, like dining room, I'm gonna source like a table and chair situation for food. And then we'll probably put the egg chair here somewhere as well. Um, and then we've still got so much grass, like this garden is a really good size. So the slabs are only gonna come out to about here or like here even. And then we've got all of this space, like all of this is still gonna be grass. All of this around here is still gonna be grass. So yeah, 
it's actually going to look fine. So um, he's just gone to sort out the skip now. I will show you a time lapse when he's doing it or um, I'll show you like when he's done bits because I'm not sure how comfortable he is on the camera. He said he's fine with me vlogging and stuff, but I don't know if he wants me to film him. So, um, but yeah, I'm really excited. So it's currently nearly half seven now and I'm wide awake, which is great. So I'm going to go inside and get some breakfast and then we can see what the progress is later. Right, I have been talking to you guys over on the gram today and I'm getting some really good um, tips from you guys. So, one of the problems, I'm not sure if I actually put it in this vlog yet or not, one of the problems with the patio that we're getting done is the fact that the grass in the middle has got a hump. So our patio starts off level and then towards the middle of the garden there's a big hump so if our patio remains level because that's what it needs to do so that it stops water running towards the house um we're going to end up with a bit of a like mud um what would you call that like a mud hill going from the patio up to the grass it's not going to be nice and smooth and level from one surface to the next which is a shame so a couple of things we could do we could take up the lawn and get it kind of like re whatever you call it, then put the turf back down, but that would take ages for it to set, blah, blah, blah. We could just leave the border there or we could put some sort of border trim around. I think that's what we're gonna go for. But in terms of border trim, I think we're gonna try to look for like railway sleepers or something. So we're on the way now to B&M. It's currently like six, half six in the evening. We've got one quite close by, um, but we've got a garden center not too far that we can go and have a look and see if they stock them. I'm, I know they do because I remember seeing them last summer when me and my mum were shopping for flowers for the flower beds. So anyway, don't know what the math is. I don't know, I haven't measured anything at all, but we're gonna go and go to B&M and see what we find. Okay, by the way, B&M, <laughs> b and garden section is so good for plants, so good. So these are, these are the sleepers. These are the rustic ones and they're one, basically one meter, a little over one meter. They're obviously rustic so they've not been like um, put through the machine. They're a bit more like, look like actual logs of like, they actually look like tree trunks. <laughs> these ones have been put through the machines. They look a little bit more like you'd actually place them um, to border something or to like make like a little bench or something like that. Rustic sleeper. Oh no, these ones are only 9 99 So this is the machine sleeper, 9 99 And then the railway sleeper must be this one down here. Yeah, our sleeper. So they're £15 each. They're 9 99 I know that you can get these off Facebook for 2.4 metres for 25 But if you bought two of these and put them together, it'd be 30 So you're best off getting them elsewhere. But it's good to know, it's good to know. Right, let's see what else there is. Let's have a look at all of the, oh, yeah. it does, it smells a bit funny. They've got everything at B&M. They've got, um, what's this called? To plant your plants. <laughs> what's it called? Compost? Not even compost, what is it? Oh, it is compost. Got it right. And then they've got logs for, for your barbecues, coal and stuff. They've got artificial turf even. Um, that stuff's so expensive, so expensive. Um, and then they've just got a bit of everything. I just, I really love it here. Oh, this is a nice shed. Bob, this is a nice shed. Eight, eight feet by six foot, only 310 pounds. Yes, yeah, huge though. That would look, imagine how nice that would look though. Um, how helpful that would be though. Yeah, no, really. Right, let's have a look at some planties. Sorry, it's loud, the guys are do, doing some deliveries. You know what, a lot of the time, if you come to B&M, either when stuff starts to go out of season, or in the evenings or on the weekends when it's not very busy, they typically have, a lot of the plants that are dying um, or need a bit more care, they have them on sale for like literally two, three pounds. I did that last year, I came and got so many plants and they're like two quid each. Some of them were like, that were like this big were like five pounds each instead of like 20. You can save yourself an absolute fortune like down this section. Let's see if there's anything. This is where I got loads last year. So these are, oh, I forget what these are called, but I had loads of these geraniums, I think. Had loads of these last year. 
Um, they t- they don't tend to last very long though, so they don't last like till the next year. All of mine are dead, so I'm having to pull them out. Um, but if you get ones that come back every year, then it's a good deal. Oh, there's roses. I love roses. See, these roses are six pound fifty. They actually grow really quickly, so you'd probably see a good amount of growth um, on them. But I got a plant last year that it should have been about 15 quid and I got it because it was nearly dying I got it for like five pounds and I brought it back to life and it was fine last year and I'm so excited this year because it's gonna be huge it's gonna be huge um anyway we're gonna go head to Aldi and get some food snacks I want to get stuff like falafels and hummus you know picky bits that you can have that like aren't really bad for you but they're a bit better than going and grabbing some chocolate because if I go and grab chocolate when I'm hungry I will eat a whole snack like share bag whereas if I eat stuff like falafels or hummus even though they're not the most healthy snacks they're a bit better because I won't eat as many and like they're actually good for you they're like plant-based foods whereas chocolate is just sugar isn't it so we're gonna go do that um was meant to go to the gym tonight but haven't I actually haven't been to the gym in a week that gym freak lifestyle left me didn't it no i'm joking i'm still a gym freak we're going tomorrow morning we was going to go this morning we were actually up but the guy came at like half seven in the morning so we're going to go tomorrow instead and what else did i want to do oh i want to go to sainsbury's to get some snickers bar ice creams because i saw rachel metz eating them on her stories all day today and i don't want anything else but a snickers ice cream so i'm going to get so I'm gonna go get some so I'll catch up with you probably not tonight probably tomorrow have a good night hi guys I lied I'm back I couldn't leave because I felt like I needed to do a taste test with you so if you don't shop at Aldi this isn't gonna be of interest to you but we quite often do I love a bit of Aldi I just think that's just fantastic but I went to go get the Snickers ice creams as you know I really wanted to get one of those I will make it my mission today to get one this week, but we don't have any, um, well, we just didn't go to Asda or Sainsbury's or Tesco or anywhere where they do them. However, I went to Aldi and I went to the section of ice creams to see if they did the Snickers, like, fake version. A Thickers? A Flickers? I don't know. Um, but they had these. They didn't have the Thickers, but they had these. What do these look like to you? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we're going to do a taste test right now, basically. So chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwiches. I know what I want it to taste like. It looks good. It does look good. Looks like this. It looks pretty tasty. So we're going to do a taste test. Are you ready? It's very cold though. The only thing is I can't bite into ice cream. <laughs> It's a very good, a very good sandwich ice cream. This is really nice. Don't taste it. It's got nutty. No, it's chocolate chip. Bit sweet for me. That's yeah, nice. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's decent. It's too do sweet. Wanna, do you want to taste the mini milk? Mm, too sweet for me. No. Mini milk. No, I'm okay. I no. don't want one yet. I'll have one after my tea. I'm gonna put my ice cream back in the freezer in its little packet. Just eat this. I don't want to eat it. I want to have my hummus and my falafels. Falafel. Okay, I'm gonna do a really quick shop with me. What do you, what do people call these videos? What I what I've eaten in a week or something, but like not really. From Aldi, we got some fake iron brew, and then I showed you the ice cream sandwich. We got some mini milk fakes. We got some paracetamol. Then I've been really fancying for lunches, just like. I don't know, I really fancy picky bits, either where I can put like a salad together or I can just have picky dippy bits with like some tortilla chips or some pita bread or if I just want to have it with a side of rice or something. So I'm going to quickly bits through everything. But I've got some cooked beetroot, love this stuff. The only thing that I don't love is how do you store it? After you've used two of them out of the packet, how do you store it? Anyway, and then we've got some guac, some salsa, some hummus, just a plain one, although I do like the... I do like the flavoured ones, but just the plain one for today. Some new yogurt rainbow coleslaw. Um, I normally get the creamy coleslaw that's very thinly shred because that's what I like, but I felt to try this one just to see. Sweet corn for my dinner tonight. I love sweet corn. I'm gonna grill that. And I've got some chili and garlic olives. Moroccan style falafels, so I can have some like falafel wraps and stuff. These are just, um, 
when I'm having like a salad and I can have something a little bit more naughty, I'll have some pies or scotch eggs, like just half of one on the side. And then also got some easy chicken. I know that's such a cop out, but for me, if I'm having like a busy day, if I'm DIYing, I will rather not eat rather than go to the extent of cooking myself good and healthy to eat. So I'll just come inside and grab like crisps, like three packets of crisps and a chocolate bar, which is not healthy. Whereas if I have, if I know I've got like easy chicken, I'll only use it if I'm like, oh my God, I literally cannot be bothered to cook a meal right now. So I'll then be able to have a really quick, easy salad. I also got corned beef because I love corned beef on sandwiches. Oh my gosh. I actually need to make corned beef stew soon because that bangs. Um, and then got some chicken satay skewers, again for picky bits with my little brunches that I'm having. I decided to get these because they look quite cool. Masala roast cauliflower sausages, so they're plant-based. They've got a really good, really good plant-based section in Aldi, like really, really good. Um, I've not tried these before, but they're 43 calories per sausage. So I thought, again, if I wanted to have some eggs in the morning, or if I wanted to have a bit more like a, of a sustainable breakfast, or substantial, whatever word it is, then I can have some of those sausages. Um, and it's not every day eating like fatty meats and stuff. We do eat quite a lot of meat in this house. Like every single meal pretty much isn't a meal unless it's got a, a meat base. It is something that I'm trying to change, trying to get into eating more like plant-based meals and just being like accepting of the fact that not every meal has to have meat in, but typically that is the, the rule in the house. Um, and then we've got these, these are unbelievable. So fish burgers. Oh my gosh, you need to get these with, oh, we forgot the brioche buns. We forgot the brioche buns, damn it. Coronation chicken again, for when I'm having like a picky bits of food, like I'll literally have the most random mix. I'll just chop up some beetroot. Then I'll have a dollop of coronation chicken. Then I'll have a dollop of coleslaw. Then I'll have like a big load of salad and then I'll have, you know. <laughs> and I also got some sweet potato pakoras. So I'm trying guys, I'm excited to try this to be honest. Skeeter's bacon barbecue sauce and then oh my gosh these so i wanted something that was like a cake i was so tempted to just get a, a huge chocolate log cake but really and truly there's no need i would have done that the old me would have done that but you know gym freak here so i decided to get the hand finished trillionaire slices which is shortbread layered with caramel belgian chocolate and crispy balls i mean i think they're really begging it with the crispy balls there's about four on there and it's not exactly a layer but they look good and the fact that they're in like little individual slices so that's one slice so I think you get four or five, you get four, um, and per slice it's 191, so it's a lot smaller than you would get like the big ones when you go to Sainsbury's and stuff, so you're probably, like it's better because you're only having a little bit. We've got some wonky strawberries, again just for another snack, would, it, another easy snack for us is to have some skier yogurt, um, with just some fruit on top, we normally have blueberries and strawberries but they didn't have blueberries in. Then I saw this, pesto mayonnaise. I know, I know. I'm going to try it and let you know what, what I think. This Chinese style marinade rub, look at the, that, that to me is butcher's Chinese. That's what that, what, that's what that reminds me of. And then I got Snickers because what I'm going to do with these, although it's not ice cream, I'm going to put them in the freezer and then I'm going to eat them as and when, as and when. And then, um, what else have we got? Oh no, we're going in the sink. I got a quite ripe avocado. So tomorrow for breakfast, I'm gonna, uh, what? Do you know what? Someone commented on my video today, it made me laugh saying, you remind me of my niece, you speak so quickly. And I, in my head, I don't think I speak quickly, but then when I watch stuff back, sometimes I'm like, <laughs> slow down, Shade. And in person as well, I get tongue tied because I'm speaking so quickly that my brain is here but my tongue is trying to catch up and it can't. So forgive me guys, I'm sorry if I speak really quickly, I will try to tone it down. But then I feel like I'm going really slow and then I feel like the pace of the video is really slow. Anyway, so tomorrow morning I'm gonna wake up and have some avocado on toast with egg. And you know when people just make it look really nice, it just looks really appealing. And I know that I actually don't like avocado, but I can manage it and it's quite good for you. So I'm gonna try and have some. Got some hummus bites and some tortilla chips. So I can dip those in the salsa and the hummus and the guac and stuff. Anyway, that's my little shop. Let me know if you buy any of this stuff or like what you would recommend from Aldi. I honestly love Aldi. Like I love, I just love it. Rob prefers going to Asda. I prefer going to Aldi. I just think the taste, like their stuff that they sell, even their like ready meals and stuff, is all so much more tasty. And to me, I think it's because, and there's probably, this is logic is probably just irrelevant and isn't true at all. But 
to me, I think Aldi is like a, a, an abroad supermarket. So they get all of the goodness from different countries and bring it here. So it's very, very tasty, if that makes sense. So it's like, I, I feel like when I'm getting stuff like from the Italian section, it's like real Italians have made it, real Indians have made it, real, I don't know, the English people have made it. Do you know what I mean? Like there's all the different sections. I feel like a very almost authentic. Whereas sometimes when I go to the more mainstream supermarket, well, it's a very mainstream supermarket, but sometimes when I go to other supermarkets, I just feel like they just don't bang as much, especially like the ready meals and stuff. Not that we have a lot of them, but it's just my logic. It's just my logic. So let me know if you shop there or where you shop or where you suggest me to shop or try. Anyway, enough of the supermarket chat, my lovelies. I think by this point, we've got a pretty good vlog. We will be doing some more DIY stuff soon, but I think you guys are enjoying the vlogs as they are. I'm hoping. Let me know if there's anything in particular you want me to do. Like I can go to Ikea. I can go to any shops that you want me to. I can do anything. Let me know if you want to see my like making my bed routine. If you want to see like a clean with me again, let me know in the comment section because you guys are saying that you love my videos and I love it but if there's something more that you would like to see from me then do let me know no do let me know let me know do let me know um, and give me suggestions apart from that my lovelies I'm gonna leave it there I'm gonna thank you for watching I hope that you're having a very good week and I hope that you have a blessed rest of the week until I speak to you again thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one go follow me on Instagram so you can keep up with me daily <laughs> lots of love guys bye Mwah. Bye.